I doubt that's ever likely to change. I'm not listening to all that blathering anymore. Okay, let's do this. Second time's a charm. Hopefully. Hopefully I won't accidentally misclick and get myself killed. Uh, that was bad. I had to do all, all of that again. Okay, so let's start with the lefty again. Just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way, you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Sure. Sure. I'll be glad to help. Great. Go to the rice lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. Okay. End. Okay. Good. Yeah. Didn't get myself killed. Well, that was a nice episode. <laughs> Uh, the rice lord. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. Okay. Gonna do what I can. Okay, so let's talk to the peasants, I guess. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of things to ask. How's it going? There's a lot of work. We need a lot of rice to feed all these people. Is there anything I should know about this place? Be careful at the camp, boy. A lot of cutthroats hang out there, just waiting to lay their hands on a newcomer like you. Hmm. Nice. Well... That makes me feel a bit less enthusiastic about the whole new camp thing. Do you have a leader? Well, you could say the Rice Lord's our leader. But most of us only work for him because they're scared of him and his thugs. Not like me. Boy, I've been around a few years and I've had enough of being knocked around by the rogues in the camp. The rice fields are just right for me. That was a bit sad. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Okay, I guess this is the uh, water giving thingy. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Okay. So, so oh, Horatio, what are you doing this one here? has a name. You're looking for trouble? Why, you ask me? <laughs> like you, uh, hey, relax, I'm a newcomer. Mind. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day. What's a man like you doing with the peasants? What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. I killed a guy once. And that was once too many. That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony. It was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. <laughs> Why did you join this camp? I'll tell you. My only option was to join those cyclones, and I didn't want to let those gurus of theirs mess about with my brain. In the old camp, I'd have had too much trouble with the guards, but the mercenaries and rogues do have some respect. They're afraid of you? Maybe. Anyway, I found peace here, and you should try the same. I think that's admirable, I guess. Just, you know, trying to live your life. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. Ew. That's disgusting. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? Well, of course I'd need it for <laughs> self-defense. Self-defense? That takes speed, not strength. Do you think cracking skulls is better than finding peace? Oh, fuck you. Good question. I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. So I guess he's not gonna teach me. 
Uh, this is number four, I guess. How are you? Tell me about this camp. Whose job is to make sure everything goes to plan? Whose job is it to make sure everything goes according to plan in the fields? Everyone's. The rice lord's supposed to be watching over the work. But if you ask me, he spends all day sitting in his bunker counting his sacks. Well, him and Homer did set all this up. Hmm. So Lefty there's a guy said, named Homer. I here? brought you some water. Oh, am, I, am I gonna have to sit through this whole Thanks, man. water drinking animation for every single peasant that I give water to? That is a bit too much. Okay, so this is Horatio. This is another peasant, I guess. Are you working in the rice fields well enough? Ah, I'm a bit. Yeah, that's right. I'm a bit Better Ill. to be working here of your own free sniffles. will than being forced into it by the rice lord's thugs. I see. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Okay. Give it to Horatio. Give it to this person. I guess I'm all done with these four guys. Let's just go onward. I'm kind of afraid that this is going to take, you know, like the better part of my day. <laughs> Lefty, so they have no I new things I can water. ask them. Am I gonna have to sit through this whole goddamn animation for every single peasant I give water to? A bit longer, and I'd have started drinking mud. Ugh, this is annoying. So that's five, six. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Oh boy. It's gonna take a while. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. So that was five, six, so this is seven. Lefty sent me. I've brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Rufus. This here is named Peasant. Hi, I'm new here. I just wanted to know what goes on around here. Ask someone else, will ya? I do nothing but work out here in the fields. I don't know nothing. You Man, see? Man, I'd love to tell the Rice Lord to do his own damn dirty work. You sound like a man who was beaten up and forced to do this shit. If you don't like it, why are you working here? It happened the first day I got here. Lefty, one of the thugs that works for the rice lord, came up to me and asked if I could lend a hand in the rice fields. Sure, I said. I was new here and I wanted to make myself useful. The next day, when I was taking a short rest, the guy turned up again. You don't want to let all your colleagues do all their work by themselves, do you? he asked. I told him I was exhausted from the previous day's work, that I needed a rest and all that. But he never listened. He grabbed me by the collar and dragged me back to the field. From that day on, he stood outside my doorstep every day until I got used to going on my own. I didn't want any trouble with those guys. They're real cutthroats. You'd better steer clear of them. Yeah, I got shot by one in my previous life i guess who is the rice lord he was one of the first to arrive here he helped found the camp and start up the rice fields these days he just hangs out at the warehouse stretching his stomach the fat pig lefty sent me i brought you some water thanks man my mouth's like a desert 
I can't imagine that a diet that consists only of rice is going to be good for you, nutrition-wise. I mean, I'm not an expert, but, you know. Can you imagine just living off of rice? I mean, solely off rice. I wonder what they eat. Oh, I can't remember whether or not I gave water to you already. Let's check. Okay, guess I gave water to him already. So this is the last guy here. So it's about, I don't know, I think it's his eighth or something. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Let's just check if I gave everyone the water. I think I did. Let's say I did. I don't have enough water anyway. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Man, this is taking such a long time. I have a feeling that I'm that maybe I shouldn't have taken up this quest. Lefty sent me. I brought you some. Then water. again, I might have just gotten shot if I did, you know, refuse. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Hi, I'm new here. Um, sure. Hi, I'm new here. It's good to see a fresh face. You must have been here a long time, huh? Damn right, boy. Hey, I was one Fuck. of the first. In that case, you must know a lot about this place. So-so. Mm, Spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We get some rice and the odd snaps. That's not much, but that's enough. Hmm. Why are you here? Taxes, boy. Taxes. My shed was as empty as my stomach, and I just couldn't pay. So one bullshit. day the soldiers came and brought me here, but it's no worse in here than it is out there. At least I won't starve in here. I always paid my taxes before, all my life. But that wasn't good enough for that son of a bitch with a crown. I guess he has a, a good reason. Also has a good outlook on the thing. I like him. Like Puck. Uh, okay, so I guess this guy has gotten his water already. This guy too. Am I out of water and that's why I can't give him to them? Yeah, seems that way. Okay, so I guess I'm done with that. Now let's see what Lefty has to say. He's gonna hey stop you. Me. Yeah. Well done. You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. Yeah, whatever. I'm listening to you. So let's take a look at the new camp. Ooh. Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sect loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. What do the mercenaries do? We, we are the mercenaries of the water mages. Our target is to break free from here. We're working hard for it. And don't plan to take things easy like the guys from the old camp who are just having an easy time resting on the backs of the diggers. And we all follow Lee. He's a great we man. We all follow Lee. He's the one Lee. who holds this damn camp together. <laughs> he sounds like a sack loony himself. What do the mages do? They investigate the magic characteristics of the ore our scrapers collect in the mine. As far as I know, they want to blow the whole damn ore mound sky high to free us from the barrier. Sounds dangerous. They said we shouldn't worry. You have a massive ore mound here? You could say that. We could buy the king's wife for that. 
But we don't give a damn about trading the ore with that old fart. We want to get out of here. Where's the ore mound? You want to see a real mound of ore, do you? There's a hole in the middle of the cave. They shove it all in there. But you won't get anywhere near it, I can tell you. The mages and our people guard the ore day and night. I was just curious. What about the rest of the people? All crooks, they don't give a damn about the camp. I'd rather just have the peasants guarding the front gate. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. Okay. Watch your back. <laughs> I feel threatened. <laughs> I don't know whether I should go in. Just go back. Carry on my water duties. There's probably gonna be this one guy that's going to, you know, just drive by longbow me or something. Homer! Hello, Homer. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. Yeah. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. <laughs> stop that damn beast. <laughs> Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped, but I was the master builder. Ah. The master builder, right? Nice. Got it. So I guess I could hunt the lurker. Okay, good. Have my, do I have my arrows equipped? Do you need to equip them? No. Doesn't seem that way. Oh, I'm so on edge. I don't want to, you know, just run into somewhere and get my ass kicked because I'm not supposed to be there. So that's why I'm kind of, you know, nervous. Uh, should we go in there? I don't know. And where do you want to go? Why? In there? Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. Okay. Cool. He shouldn't believe everything I thought that'd be cleared up ages ago. I'm gonna try giving him some admission fee. As long as I'm not involved. Hmm. Where should I go? Should we go and just find the lurker? I think the lurker is that big lizard that we fought. Is it? Oh, this looks nice! This looks much nicer than the old camp. I mean, at least they have, you know, like, stone buildings and stuff. They don't live in shacks. It's a bit run down, but I guess it's not bad. Shrike. Who you? How are things? Get lost! I love how pleasant he is to talk to. Hey, a new face. Gorn. Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. Let's talk about something else instead. Hmm. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the magicians? Lee has made a deal with the magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here. And we get a small share of the ore as our pay. Nice. Okay, so... Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really. But he didn't ask. 
And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. So I'm guessing I have to persuade Shrike to, you know, do What do do I have to, do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. Hmm. See you later. So I guess it's similar. I just don't need, you know, the thieving thing and everything. I really don't want to go into a building because I feel like these guys will not be like, Hey, get out of there before I kick your ass. They'll be like, hey, I'm going to kick your ass and then, you know, throw you out of here. Like, shoot first, ask questions later kind of dude. Blade. Nice. I like your name. He seems like a swell guy to talk to. You okay? All's quiet for now. For now? If the rogues keep on attacking Gomez's convoys, it won't be long before him and his army come knocking down the gates. And that's not gonna be much fun. Is there any trouble in this camp? Man, there's always trouble. The rogues do as they please, and we mercenaries have to shield the majors and defend the camp. Who calls the shots around here? We do as the mages say, but usually they don't say nothing. They just hang out by the ore mound and bury their noses in their books. Basically, Lee's in charge. He's our boss. Nice. I want to become a mercenary for the mages. I want to become a mercenary for the mages. That's not so hard. If you're prepared to fight for our cause, Lee's bound to take you on. But he only takes people who are good with a sword. Well, are you? Well... I thought so. If you're really serious, talk to Gorn. He's trained newcomers before. Okay. Maybe you'll be lucky, and he'll take the time to train you. Where can I find... Dot, dot, dot. Not really interested. So I guess... Gorn can train me in something? Possibly? Wolf. Oh man, they have awesome names. Where can I get a bow here? You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. Okay, nice. So he's a salesman? Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. He makes armor. Nice. You shouldn't believe everything I hear. So I can learn how to handle a bow from him. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. Okay. So I guess I already know all of that. Don't really want to know how to handle a bow. I mean, I do, but first I really want to get better with using swords. Preferably two-handed swords. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. Okay, so I need to... You know, Do you trade in anything else? To know better. I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something get like to that, know him I'll buy it. So they have stuff I can sell to him. I have wings. I have wings, four wings, four wolf skin, ten teeth. Nice. Six torches. I'm gonna sell the jug as well. Cavalorn ski I'm gonna keep because why not? Tumbler. Hammer. I don't actually need these things, I think. I have no idea what to do with the coins, but they have no value, so I might, might as well keep them for now. Miscellaneous, potions, food, artifacts. So I got Mordrick's Ring, and I guess I got another thing. Okay, so Mordrick's Ring gives me, what, 5 dexterity, and the other one gives me 5 strength. Who's Mordrag? Oh yeah! Mordrag's the guy that I went with. Okay, good. Mana cost, 1. Fire damage, 30. Healing. Healing per mana, 10. Required mana, 10. So that's a 100 spell. Investment spell. Light. Okay, I have no idea how to do magic at this point, so just not gonna bother. Armor and weapons. 
Wait, I need the screw sword because this is the one that I normally have equipped and use. Off with the pickaxe, so I have 259 ore on this side. A bit too much, so I'm just going to just buy some things. The blood flies. Is there any point in buying this? I don't think so. I mean, there possibly could be, but no, I don't really want to bother. Don't want to use up my ore for nothing. Okay, I'm gonna buy this pick clock as well. What's this? A razor? Let me just get the crude sword out. Oh no, wait, I don't have the crude sword. So I'm gonna get the axes back so I can just sort of... Uh, Okay, so that's that's balanced as it should be. There we go. Got some more money. Or I mean Rogue and Rogue. So I guess the first thing that I should do is probably try and kill that lurker thingy. Wait. He wasn't rogue, he was Butch! Butch! Hi, who are you? It's none of your business. I don't like your mug. No problem. I, I was just about to leave anyway. Wedge. Where's Biggs? Shh. Hey, you. Who? Me? Exactly. Come over here. Nope. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I smell trouble. <laughs> okay. Rogues. Some people. Hang on. Not go rushing it. Okay, so. I guess this thing down here is the hole slash my. Oh no, this is probably the wizard circle. Okay, interesting. I'm not gonna go there. Um. Yeah. I need to check the other side of the dam. Bollocks, let's go find the lurker. 